I'm joined now by Kathy Berman. She's from Defend Our Democracy National Committee. Uh, she's a member there. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, so one of the things uh, that came out in the tributes uh, that were coming out earlier about uh, Pravin Gordon was that he was a true Democrat and uh, he really identified himself more as an activist than a politician. Your thoughts on him? Yeah, I think it's, it's a very sad day and I think it's sad in terms of the country and on a personal level. Um, we at Defend Our Democracy so treasure his contribution to society and to civil society and to the political realm. But we also, so many of us, have been comrades of his um, from the 70s onwards. And so there's this deep sense of loss and this deep sense of pain that he just resigned to finally have his own life. And he's never gotten to it. He was such a committed, strong, resilient, and absolutely defiant human being who fought strongly, thoroughly for democracy through thick and thin, and that's all that guided him. When you do look back on his life and his legacy, of course, there are those who criticize some of the things that he did or the ways that he did things. But what's your assessment of his legacy, the good and the bad? You know, I, like Edward Kiesvetter, am very, very grateful that I managed to work with him, for him, shall I say, on the SARS Exco in 2000 when he was trying to transform the organization. And in that time, I saw, I knew him from before, I knew him from Cadesa days, but, and he'd insisted that I join him and he wouldn't take no for an answer. But I saw a man who was of, of unbelievable integrity, utter vision. Um, there was nothing that would stand in his way for getting something done. Um, he went on to serve this country absolutely brilliantly. Um, the Zondo Commission was a trying time for him and so many Democrats. And I think the latter part of his career has been taken over by the, the, the rogue elements and the Twitterati who are so vile in, in their assessments. Um, I do hope that our voice will drown through what needs to be an honest assessment of his, of his shortcomings at times, but what a man of such stature. We've lost a giant and there are very few left who are true Democrats. And it would be wonderful if our political arty as well as our Twitter arty would also step back and think about what he has done for us and for the people. There's a wonderful quote that was shared with, with, with us earlier, which I really would like to bring up, that he stated amongst two quotes, actually, um, let's not focus on ourselves, but what we can do for our people. And more beautifully, the poor must not inherit poverty. And I think that is our legacy. We owe it to this country that we silence the dissenting voices and we fight hard for the democracy he fought for and we all want to believe in. And most of the country does believe in. Kathy Berman, thank you very much uh, for your time there.